Hello Zabib and welcome. Uh, we thought we would have today a discussion and we thought you could tell us first about who you are, why do Eritrean women come to Israel, do Eritrean women face different experiences than Eritrean men in Eritrea? You can never find a place that can replace your home. There are problems that makes Eritrean young people live home. So Eritrean situation is much more worse for women than men. The first thing is, for example, the law says if a woman is uh, above 25 years old, if she's in the army, she must be released because of her age, but it doesn't work. So I found many Eritrean women at the age of 30 something, they don't, they don't get married or family, but they just give like sexual services, like they cook, clean for the group of military leaders in this campus. So if, they, if you don't go to, to this military campus, you're not allowed to continue your education or you can't find any job. So you're forced to be housewives. I know the, the journey to Israel is extremely horrifying and difficult uh, for men and women. And that we have many people here today who have experienced these difficulties themselves. I just thought you could use this opportunity to tell people about the uh, experience of Eritreans and also specifically Eritrean women on, on the journey to Israel. The journey takes minimum one and a half week, so it's very difficult without enough water, uh, food. A very long journey, overcrowded situation, like 18 people in a very small car, like the Toyota pickup. 18 people, it's high speed, on the hot sunny day. Uh, there's too many rape. In addition, they torture men and women in the same way, but they rape like women, like more than two men at the same time, they, rape, like, they didn't get any chance to see a gynecologist after even they came from Sinai to Israel. There's a different kind of torture in Sinai for women. They just melt plastic on their breasts and they, they burn them, uh, their vagina with cigarettes and they did extremely kind of like torture uh, for women. So I don't, if, I don't even have enough words to explain how much like problems like uh, have been found to women, so I don't know. Were you in prison? Uh, what was it like when you arrived to Israel? When I was in prison, I, I was two, one month and three weeks in, in, in a tent. There was 11 tents in a very small area, 16 people in each tent, which is women and children together. And uh, it was like rainy season. Rain was coming from up the, the tent and it was flowing under under the, the floor, so we had no enough uh, blankets and sheets, and we had no always like very cold food. We couldn't even get like tea or coffee like to warm ourselves. And it's, it's very small area, like stressful. You don't have any uh, activity to spend your time on, so it's very very stressful. Wow. So um, with all of this sadness in Eritrea on the journey and in Israel, there's one happy thing, which is this place that we are. Where are we now? Uh, tell us about the place. We were 10 women. We had to come together and to discuss about different issues and based on the women's needs. We have like, we, have, we did like continuous meeting for about four months and we came to know what are the women problems in Israel. So based on the, on the women's uh, need, we, we had to open this place. 